Hi everyone, my name's Kat. I am 30 years old and I'm going to take you on my denture adventure. And this is my story, my journey. Uh, the journey's already started. I basically went to my dentist maybe a month ago after one of my teeth broke and it was like the straw that broke the camel's back it was time to get them fixed so I had I didn't have a dentist at the time so I basically called around everywhere in my local area and no one under the NHS could see me uh, but I widened the search a little bit further out and I managed to find a dentist who wasn't that far away um, who looks like they're a new clinic um, but they were accepting NHS patients and they could see me on the same day as an emergency appointment. I was in a lot of pain and they basically took me in. I went with one of my best friends and uh, the dentist basically said to me, look, um, it's time to get your teeth fixed. Uh, I can't do anything for you other than to extract that tooth and you're in pain now so the only way that I can do that is to take it out now. So I panicked. Um, I've never had any kind of dental treatment without either being sedated, having nitrous oxide, so like laughing gas or happy gas, or being put under general anaesthetic. So I've never had any kind of dental treatment um, where I haven't been sedated completely. So the thought of having him extracting a tooth without any kind of sedation was just mind-blowing. I was completely just at the edge of my comfort zone. Like, I was in pain and I was weighing up whether or not I wanted to be in pain or whether I wanted the tooth out and I needed to make that step. So I decided that I had no choice and I let him numb my gum, um inject my gum obviously to completely anaesthetise the area and after maybe 10 minutes of him making me numb he set to work on my tooth and luckily he just pulled it out it had to tug a bit and it was uncomfortable but there was no pain like I've never ever experienced that that's crazy like I to have myself awake be completely conscious and totally aware of everything that was going on was just completely unheard of for me. Um, big life step, like I'm 30 years old and I've never had any treatment done um, like that, so it was a big life step for me. And that was the turning point, I decided it was enough. Um, I was fed up of my teeth looking the way they are. Um, I was born with a calcium deficiency, I don't unfortunately know um, the clinical terminology for it. I was just born with, I was born with a version of rickets, so my bones were brittle, which in effect had an effect on my teeth and it made them brittle as well. They would break. I could eat a banana and they'd break. Um, and it was a crazy time. So I basically combined that with really poor dental hygiene and my extreme dental phobia now to say extreme is probably an understatement I'm petrified of dentists um, the thought of sitting in a dentist chair let alone actually having any work done actually one angers me uh, scares the crap out of me it just you know it's, it's petrifying and those of you who are suffering with dental phobia know exactly how I feel Others of you who go to the dentist regularly are probably sitting here thinking, what's the big deal, it's just a dentist. And I would love to be able to say that I can just go to the dentist and not be afraid, but cold sweats, fear, tears, everything, just anxiety, I can't even put words to it. It scares me. I can't explain it any more than that. Um, yeah. <laughs> scared, petrified. So yeah, I've lost my trail of thought, but yeah, I went to the dentist, had the tooth taken out, and I made the decision that now is the time to make my 
start my journey, make my decision. I've been battling it for a while. I, I think it's it's a big decision to make to remove teeth and commit to having a denture put in because that then becomes your teeth and you know I've lived with these broken teeth for years now like you're talking about you know 10 or 15 years worth of, of decaying teeth and they've become mine you know it's it's part of me and whilst I totally appreciate there is no option it's like you don't want to let go of you and you know that this is the turning point and there's no way back like once I go under you know the knife and have all those teeth taken out that's it I'm gummy and the only option is either implants which in this country is extortionate um, I could have a denture or I could try and combine the two but unfortunately again cost is a big thing for me I broke them broke and uh, I just can't afford it I've been to in the space of the last two years probably six or seven private dentists all of which I've, I've paid for the consultations um, and they've told me varying different quotes in the regions of £30,000 to £15,000 for my top dentures or top teeth some have quoted me to have implants in enough implants so that I can fix a permanent denture into my mouth um, some people have told me that all of my teeth need to be taken out and I have to have a complete set of teeth done um, and you know I've just had varying different obviously every dentist is going to try and find their way of fixing your teeth and you know nobody really sat down and said well cat here's what you can afford here's what we can do for you and this is your plan people have given me plans based on worst case scenarios and how much it's going to cost and I can't afford that um, this year um, a lot of my emotional feelings have kind of come to a head I've suffered quite badly with a form of like depression uh, I can't stand to look in the mirror so right now for me to be recording this video is a big thing I don't really know whether or not I can cope with everything that's going on like emotionally with all this I'm not sleeping very well and I'm all over the place not eating very well I, it's just hard to explain but I'm embarrassed of the way that I am I have a wonderful family that support me and love me but essentially these teeth especially for my partner are a really big thing to him he's been we've been together for 10 years and he's seen them deteriorate and he can he's concerned about my well-being and he just wants me to be healthy and happy and he he's got a perfect set of ashes and to me it's like it's all well and good for you to say you know dentists are a part of everyday life and you have to go but when you've got fear and anxiety to add to all the pain it's just it's a lot to cope with and it's been a lot I've had some really quite difficult uh, health issues um, my weight is a big problem so the depression as I've been glassed with has kind of taken a toll on me and I can't cope on my own and I went to my GP to see if I could get some sort of counselling to help me talk it through because everyone is a sounding board but no one really knows any answers and I think I've, I'm searching for answers and help I, I want somebody to say Kat you're struggling and I'm going to help you and this is how I'm going to help you and I just want that help I want somebody to show me how to lose weight like and make it stick I want somebody to help me and coach me and guide me through that 
I want somebody from the NHS to listen to me. I'm a singer. I've sung since I was three years old. I come from a musical family. I'm petrified that when I put this denture in my mouth, I won't take to it and I'll never be able to sing again. And that's like in my top three fears. Like, what happens if I can't talk anymore? What happens if I can't sing? Like, how how am I going to cope? <sighs> but, like everyone says, the way that I am is not an option anymore. It's It's got to change. And I have to change. And these life changes have to take place for me to be in a better place. And I, whilst I'm 10,000 times petrified, it is time to make that change and that's it I'm going for it I have my e-day my extraction day booked for my partner's birthday sorry about that on the 26th of September this year um, I have been to the dentist my dentist locally um, to have my impressions done my first set of impressions done so I've had the top set of impressions and the bottom set. I've also been to a hygienist um, to have my teeth scaled and to see whether or not I can retain any of my teeth. Um, a lot of my bottom teeth, uh, my dentist was afraid that the plaque was holding the teeth in place and once they had the plaque removed all those teeth would become loose and they'd need to be extracted. Um, yesterday I went to my hygienist for the first time ever um, again more treatment done with just injections and anesthesia um, she numbed my mouth my whole bottom lip and she went to work on my teeth and I wish that I had taken a before picture but I didn't and um, it's kind of hard to give you a bit of a comparison but there was plaque all the way around the bottom layer of my teeth and like all the way down here and now they're so shiny like it's crazy all well, today like my jaw has been aching like don't get me wrong probably you know I only had a half an hour appointment and she blatantly took longer than half an hour on my teeth so you know she really went to work it was quite intensive and quite traumatic I'm not even gonna lie to you um but that I've never seen them so clean and I'm and I run my so uh, if I run my tongue over the bottom of my teeth it's like wow that's what teeth are supposed to feel like like I've never felt that as an adult maybe as a child but not consciously like I've never felt that so yeah it's all very new um, I've got an appointment on Thursday again with my dentist to have my bite impression done uh, on that same day I'm going back to my lovely hygienist to have these teeth uh, scaled I think they might have to do something to them because obviously there's a lot of previous work done I think I've got a filling and, and a couple of things a, a silver filling on one of them uh, which I'm not sure how when they put a denture in my mouth this is all going to work I'm a little bit apprehensive as to whether or not this is going to be aesthetically what I want but it's a stepping stone right so baby steps <laughs> that's the plan so yeah Thursday so I've got the dentist to have my in, my second impressions and then I'm gonna have more hygienist work done on my teeth so yeah that's the plan for me for now uh, just I, in case I didn't tell you um, I think I did anyway but it, my extraction day my E day is the 26th of September I will be going to King's College uh, Hospital to have my extractions done so I will be in for day surgery it's going to be done under general anaesthetic and they're going to take out I think a minimum of 16 roots slash teeth um, these are going these as far as I know are staying these thankfully to my wonderful hygienist Natalie are all staying they are all healthy uh, and not loose she took all the plaque away and all traumatic as it was they are healthy enough to stay so all of these are staying and she's removing well my dentist is removing all of these 
roots at the back because they're all broken and decayed. All of the roots at the top because they're decayed as well. Again, like I said, these will go. And I'll be having a top denture. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I will have my bottom denture at the same time, but they are making the mould at the same time. I'm kind of hoping they just don't do that as a palette. They kind of just do that as a partial because all these teeth are staying. So fingers crossed that's what they're going to do, but I'm not a dentist, so I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep you updated. This is my first ever post, so let's see where I go with this. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously feel free to contact me. I'm more than happy to talk to anyone about it or share experiences, but I'd love to hear um, your opinions and your stories. Obviously, I... I know I'm unsightly and I, I understand that there's going to be a lot of backlash from this if I get the views, but you know what, I know that my teeth need fixing and I know that now is the time, so, you know, I'd appreciate good comments as opposed to bad ones, but you know what, I'm prepared, so I hope that you guys have enjoyed listening to my story. Um, Watch this space. Thanks. Bye.